Hey guys, so it's um, August 11th, 2023, around 9.30 this morning. This is what I got. There's five sections. It's a call to prayer and directives. And the five sections are Julie and the anointed, anointed and faithful, faithful to all and pray. Okay, so let's get going. Number one, Julie and anointed. Pray in the power of the Holy Spirit against evil forces and darkness starting today. When it is conquered in the spirit in prayer, I will show a sign in the sky. A sign, it's time to go. Keep praying against them until you see the sign. This small break in the fight will clear the way for you to come to me. The angels that fight for you need all the prayer power you have from now until the sign in the sky. When the things shift in the spiritual, you will hear me call your name, Julie. What unfolds after will be new. The world will see one thing, but you will know it means another. You will know it is time to go. Pray. Listen for your name. Then you will know that you can look to the sky. When I call your name, and I knew this included all the anointed and the obedient faithful. It is time for you to go that day. Expect to see an angel. Number two, anointed and faithful. From today, Friday, until the end of the third day after Julie's last words, after the human uprising, pray. If you have not heard your name by this time, repent and prepare to receive my full infilling of the Holy Spirit and full protections for the uprising, war, and beginning of sorrows. All anointed from Julie to the anointed leaders to the last anointed will pray and see the sky and hear their name and go. Begin today. Pray with all the power and time that you have. This brings strength to your angels. Number three, faithful. If you do not think you are anointed, pray for them and their safe journey to me. Have hope. The time approaches. The time is here. Do not care what goes on in the world. Just stay focused on me. No matter your category, stay focused on me. Always recall what the evil one means for bad, I mean for good. Nothing you soon see will turn out as man plans. Trust me and you will be fine. Trust man and your days will be very difficult. Focus on me. Rejoice when you see chaos and strange things. This means the beginning of sorrows has begun and your redemption draws very near. Recall, those in me will be kept through all manner of challenge, chaos, war, lack of provisions. I will even guide you through and steer you clear of following the false Messiah and use you to the bringing in of the harvest. The halfborns will come. Stay firmly in me. Number four, to all. In the next few months, everything will irreversibly change in the world. There is no turning back. Choose this day whom you serve. I am the Lord God Almighty, the God of Noah, Jacob, Moses, David, John, Paul, and Jesus. Jesus, my son, is the one and only Messiah. All who follow his commands love him and love me. All who follow his command to be sanctified will be spared the time of trial after rapture. Choose me. Avoid the great tribulation. Obey my words. Seek me with your whole heart. Selflessly come to me. Want my plans. Volunteer to love me in every circumstance. Trade self for the souls of others. Seek my face because you want to know me, not just as a way to safety. Number five, pray. Hear the word of the Lord. Pray without ceasing. Pray for the global success of the Christians. Pray boundaries around yourself and other Christians. Pray the lost's shackles are broken and they come repentantly to me for safety. Praise, sing, dance, 
stay joyful in every circumstance, share who provides for you, or find whom I provide for and get under their shelter and learn from them. Pray, pray, pray. It is your most powerful weapon. I see all. Pray. That's it. I hope that encourages you and I'll see you soon.